Hello there, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon. My name is Mo, welcome. Today I will be talking about the goddess Kali. So this is a plaque that I have on my wall and I got it in a witch's subscription box. And Kelly is one of my goddesses, so I decided to add her to my uh, deity series here on YouTube. Um, I'll list, I'll link the playlist for the deity series videos in the description box down below. So I um, googled information about Kali. Um, for me, Kali is the goddess of destruction and revenge. Um, but there is a lot more uh, information about Kali that I have to share. So Kali is a Hindu goddess with blue skin. She is the goddess of time, death, and doomsday. She is often associated with sexuality and violence, but is also considered a strong figure of motherly love. Kali's name is from the Sanskrit meaning she who is death. For me personally, I see Kali as the goddess of destruction and revenge. The typical image of Kali is of her with her fangs dripping blood, holding a trident, a bolt of lightning, and a sword. Her, her skirt is made of severed arms, her necklace of skulls, as you see here, this isn't a full uh, goddess Kali uh, figure. It's just her face, but she does have a skirt made of um, severed arms. Um, she has wild and matted hair, um, and she has a primal look in her eyes and her long curling tongue. She is known as a wisdom goddess within the Hindu pantheon. As I said, Kali is a goddess of destruction. In one story, there is an uncontrollable entity wreaking havoc on the world. No one can defeat him because every time this uh, horrible entity is cut, more horrible entities arise from the droplets of his blood as it touches the ground. The goddess Durga, usually the one who takes care of business, becomes frustrated. Durga squeezes her eyes shut. Suddenly, her third eye opens and out jumps Kali. Kali unrolls her giant tongue over the entirety of the battlefield and gives a signal for, for the other deities to attack this horrible entity. When the horrible entity's blood is shed, it never gets the chance to become more horrible entities because it lands on Kali's tongue before it touches the ground. Once all the horrible entities are vanquished, Kali performs a victory dance. So powerful, it threatens to crack the earth in half. Thinking quickly, Shiva lies beneath Kali. And when Kali sees her beloved Shiva on the ground, she turns infinitely tender. The message that we have here is to not make yourself small or palatable for society's acceptance. Kali's tenderness comes from seeing her beloved, not from squelching her victorious, not from oh, squelching her victorious achievement. So Kali's tenderness comes from seeing her beloved, um, not from squelching her victorious achievement because she didn't stop her victory dance because she, um, she stopped her victory dance because she saw her beloved underneath her, not because she was trying to squelch her victory dance. I guess. One website I looked at said, Kali drinks the horrible entities we battle against in life. The shame, the doubt, the addiction, or any other afflictions we suffer with. Or from, um, there is nothing, or any of the other addictions, 
uh, we or other things we suffer from. There is nothing Kali won't take. I call Kali the goddess of destruction and revenge because she destroys the enemy and she helps her devotees take revenge while helping us who follow her become the best versions of ourselves. The best revenge is being happy, whole and successful. So that is why I see Kali as the goddess of revenge because she helps those who follow her to become successful. And that is the best revenge that one can have on their enemies. Um, the best revenge is being happy, whole, and successful. Kali helps us achieve this. Kali is also a goddess that represents time and the power and force of time. A symbol of mother nature. She doesn't rush her devotees to success, but helps us to heal in perfect perfect timing. Kali is also called Kali Ma because Kali uh, is loving, caring, and benevolent. Um, Goddess Kali is worshipped widely, widely during Diwali in the eastern part of India. Diwali is a celebration of the triumph of light over darkness and is known for ushering in new beginnings. So that is a little bit about Kali. Um, she is my goddess of destruction and revenge. She destroys my enemies and helps me to take revenge on them by being the most successful version of myself. And I'm sure she would be willing to help you too. So if she calls to you, um, don't ignore her call, answer her call. Bye.